Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to my Sunday stream, Artistic License, where we do a little bit of whatever I want. Today, we're going to be continuing our Final Fantasy X 100% run with defeating Dark Yojimbo five times. Thank you so much, Koneko, for the tips that you're already posting. Um, you're, you're so funny talking about um, accidentally skipping the third encounter. Um, I was telling my husband last night that I was like, I don't know if I'm going to end stream at my normal time because we're doing the Dark Yojimbo fight and like, I don't know if I'm going to do it right the first time and all this stuff. And he's like, well, don't do what I did and skip one of the fights and then be really confused as to why you only fought him four times and why Penance is not unlocking. And I was like, oh no. Okay. So yes, I had like a tiny little warning about that last night. So hopefully I will not do that. Um, and good to know that I can use the save sphere. I just can't actually save at the save sphere. I can just go talk to it and get heals. So, so that's good. So that's good. That's good. How are you guys doing? I'm doing well. <laughs> I'm doing well. Um, <laughs> uh, the, it, it's, it, this is only the second time we've streamed on the Sundays. So I'm still getting a little bit of used to it. Just playing some wow and cleaning. Oh, very cool tap. Very cool, man. I remember my WoW phase. I was like so into WoW for so long, like so long. Oh my God. What? Vibe him for dinner. What are you having for dinner, Koneko? What are you having for dinner? I don't know what we're having. We had breakfast for dinner last night. We had pancakes and hash browns and bacon. Oh my God. It was so good. It was so good. <gasps> hey, how's it going, Rar? How's it going? So yeah, um, this is definitely on to the much, much harder, um, dark aeons. So backseating is 100% okay. It's mean, it's been okay, but it's like super okay. Just chilling. Nice tomato soup. Oh, I love tomato soup though with a cheese sandwich. Yes. Um, sorry, you're not too fond of tomato soup, but I hope it's tasty anyway, even if tomato soup is not your favorite. Okay. As you guys know, we like to start out our artistic license stream with doing our personality quiz and today we are we're gonna find out our dairy type okay so you guys can do it with me find out your dairy type let's do it together <laughs> are we ready i'm ready i want to know my dairy type i don't really know i don't really know yes i know you would especially like that one um raw you should absolutely link it in the mongers because i have not seen anyone in barber monger post it but i found it this morning and i was like oh yes um i don't know what dairy is oh it's um anime tropes it's anime tropes uh that apply to typical female characters in anime twitch is throwing a fit and i can't tell if it's on my end let me look at my stats friend let me look at my stats um everything looks okay on my end there was a few there was a few frames missing a minute ago maybe it was that if it's cleared up then it's then it's that i'm sorry koneko i'm sorry i don't see anything in my stats so i'm I do think it's on your end, but I'm not sure. Okay, anyways, let's start the quiz. Someone walking past you insults you slash has a rude demeanor towards you. I don't really care. Keep walking like you didn't hear anything. <laughs> uh, get annoyed and might say something back. Stay silent as usual. You really don't want to cause trouble. We're going to throw hands. <laughs> Take away their living privileges with no remorse. Hey, I was going to do it anyway, regardless of the situation. It's nothing personal. That or I just walk away. Ignore it, but low-key want to slice them. We live in a society. <laughs> I'm assuming this person walking past me is a stranger that I don't actually care about and don't know and typically don't interact with. Okay, the question doesn't say that, but I'm assuming it. Um, I mean, like, they probably got some stuff going on, honestly. Like, we live in a society. I wouldn't do anything. I would do nothing. I, I don't know them. I don't, I don't need to be bothered with their problems. <laughs> Living privileges, yes. <laughs> Um, relationship with family slash friends. We're not very close and I don't talk to them much. I do care about them though. Oh, you know what Itachi did? Well, I did that and enjoyed it. I don't know what that means. I get annoyed or argue sometimes, but they're not bad, I guess. I'm kind of shy around them. We get along well. Oh, them, we get along just fine. I get along very well with people in general. Hide sniper. <laughs> uh, wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? Uh, thinking. I don't know. I get along. I get along fine. Um... There's none of these are like, oh, we're good. Let's see. Um, I guess, I mean, get annoyed and argue sometimes, but only sometimes. Like, you know, it just depends, I guess. There's not really a good answer on here for me. So we're going to go with this one. 
someone attacks you or is about to. Use whatever force is necessary for the situation or escape if possible. I'm not fond of fighting. Probably this one. Looks at watch. Stabby time. <laughs> um, I'm not usually one for violence, but I'm using my axe for sure. I'm out of here. No thanks. Beat that idiot up. Duh. Batman? Batman. What? I feel like there's like some references in here that I'm just like not getting. Anyway, I try to run away, basically. Favorite anime slash movie genre out there? Horror, slice of life, mystery, action, romance, anything that's not romance. Yuck. Same answers as above, but without the addition of yuck, I just don't care for romance. Slice of life with emphasis on the slice. LSD. That's not, that's not a genre. That's not a genre. That's not a genre. Um, I don't know. I guess good. Like is good's not a genre though. Anyway, um, maybe action, but co and comedy is not on here either. Anyway, I guess out of the answers here, we're going with action. What dairy type do you want to get this? See, this is why I'm taking this quiz because I don't know. Um, kudere, kugire, basically kudere, but less caring and potentially dangerous. Oh, okay. Uh, dandere, yandere, uh, tsundere, any, this counts towards all of them, any of the types that would wake up and choose violence. Who dare? <laughs> Who dare? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, any, I like, I, I want to know, tell me my, like, this is self-discovery going on right here. Where do you want to be? Home. Somewhere I can use this butterfly knife I just got, but home is fine too. At a bakery with my friends so I can buy us all something sweet. Currently seething. Other. Anywhere peaceful and far from violent people, please. Cereal is a soup. Okay. Home. There's definitely jokes going on here that I don't get. <laughs> definitely jokes going on here that I don't get. Okay. Favorite flavor. Savory, spicy, sweet. Other slash combination of these, blood. I'm fueled by rage. Stand back. I'm gonna morb. Society. Uh, probably spicy and sweet. This one, where they type out other. Yeah, I don't know. Am I too old for this? Is this like a, a Zoomer thing? I'm gonna grab a tissue. It's tearing up. These are funny. This quiz sucks. It doesn't explain what the answers actually mean. What? Are you serious? The fuck? Okay, well, we'll get to the end and we'll see. Are you more of an introvert or an extrovert? Introvert, extrovert. Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? Stab, trovert. Angry, sundary noises. Extremely introverted and shy. These mortal things do not apply. I am the Grim Reaper. Uh, introvert, for sure. Favorite hobby? Music. Anything thrill-seeking, adrenaline-inducing, baking, drawing, or painting, gardening, other. I'm not sure. I just do random things to pass the time, whatever needs to be done. Anything that involves kicking or punching, being the Grim Reaper. Does stalking my crush count as a hobby? Eating at a very high place. Um, I guess which is drawing or painting, because it's very close to uh, what I actually like to do, which is like writing and crafting. I feel like this is the same energy. I got mine, and I have no idea what it means because the quiz doesn't explain. What'd you get, Koineko? Maybe I know what it means. But that's stupid. That's really stupid. I'm disappointed. I feel like this one was trending today. Maybe it's just got on trending because the title was so intriguing. I don't know. Whatever. Pick a word. Ethereal knife. Obsession. Jab. Rose. Cabin. Kick. Society. Joker. Rose. Pick another word. Love. Rage. Peace. Ruthless. Rain. Indifference. Belladonna. Callousness. Bashful. Detachment. Morbius. Um, Peace. Next. Okay. One more word. Willow, hollow, cinnamon, emptiness, wrath, coldness, viola, lavender, hate, remorseless, supercalifragilistic, expialidocious. Um, I guess this one. This one. Yeah. <clears throat> Did you know I developed a cinnamon allergy as an adult? It's really strange. It's not very. You got Don Dere. Okay, that's a nice one. Don Dere is nice. Oh, we'll Google it. You got Kudere. Ah! <laughs> um, oh, pick a quote. I'd rather not me the quiz maker. <laughs> Yeah, I'd rather not pick a quote. Yeah, I did. And then I started having a reaction to it, but not always, only if there's like too much cinnamon in something, especially cinnamon liqueurs. Like I can't do shots of fireball or I break out. It's crazy. Um, There's no telling to what extremes of cruelty and ruthlessness a man will go when he's freed from the fears, hesitations, and doubts and the vague stirrings of decency that go with individual judgment. 
Anger is like a storm rising up from the bottom of consciousness. When you feel nothing, turn your focus to your breath. Uh, clearly, she was expecting to say something, but panic at having to speak stole the thoughts from her head. Sayonara. Joker is probably one of the best movies ever made. Or it's probably one of the... Oh, it just is one of the movies ever made. Yeah, it, it, they made that movie. In response to the above quote, it's definitely one of the movies ever made. <laughs> Thousands would have called him cold and they would not have been wrong, precisely. But he also had a large heart. Holmes simply protected it better than most men do. All these squares make a circle. Mr. Popo from Dragon Ball approached. <laughs> Don Derry actually suits me. Oh, yeah. Oh, TV tropes. Yes, TV tropes. Yeah, I'd rather not. Like, these quotes are silly. Do you wake up and choose violence? Violence is not my nature. Don't mind the weapon collection, by the way. No, maybe square up. Uh, no. <laughs> Peace was never an option. Only if someone tries to steal my crush, doesn't say anything, plays the main theme from the Psycho movie. Free, 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 free. Uh, no. I do not wake up and choose violence. Okay. Oh, we get to pick a picture. Safety from the scary people? Oh, my God. No! I've seen footage. I have seen footage. I've been on the internet for a long time. I've seen footage. Okay, I got Tsundere. Okay, I see. Um... It's literally just the title, the fuck. This is so lazy. Anyway, Tsundere, Dandere, Ku, Dere, Yandere. Yeah, I got Tsundere. I guess Tsundere out of the Dere's is accurate, but it doesn't really... I don't know if it, there is a Dere that describes me. I still don't vibe, even though I've seen it. Jed, how's it going? Happy Sunday, friend. I wanted to pick I'm seen footage, but I had to go for it. <laughs> uh, because Kudere explained it. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. So the ku, ku, kudere or ku, kugire? I never heard it called that. I've never heard it called kugire. What is that? Kugire. They have kudere on here too. Yeah, maybe they goofed up. Let's see. Kugire. Kudere. No, that's kudere. I know what that one is. Kugire. Here we go. Dark personality traits and a passion for destruction or treat people with contempt and without sympathy, but they act aloof, cold, and calculating, not showing their emotions and their attitude to what's happening around them. Kugre are almost always antagonists and are negative characters. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, as the story progresses, they reveal a more brutal and violent side of themselves instead of loving and caring side. Yeah, okay. Um, sure. I never heard of that one. I've never heard of this one either. Osaka Dere? Does it have to do with Osaka? Oh. Is it the same as Ocho Dere? I guess it I guess this is this is what comes up. Maybe it's the same as Ojo Dere. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. I picked the one violence off, and I guess I'm a psychopath now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Well, let's go. Let's switch over to the game, you guys. Okay. Oh, turn my controller back. All right. Here we go. Okay, you guys. What did I do in between this stream and the last stream? I did a bunch of fun things. So if we go into our stats, um, I maxed out all the stats except for luck. So strength and magic were not maxed out last time, but they are now. You can see here. I max. It's all maxed. Okay. Um, also, let's sort these. Also, I farmed Mega Elixirs. Um, you can see I got 95 of them bitches. Yes, hell yeah. Also, um, I did some stuff to their equipment. I can show you guys that. Um, excuse me. I got Ribbon on Riku. Okay, so I did get enough Dark Matters for another Ribbon, and I put Stone Proof on everyone else. So, Riku and Orin have ribbon and everyone else has stone proof okay i know we're gonna need that for bahamut so no one can um shat so bahamut can't shatter me like um you know anima was able to oop, oop, oop. you like those it is a very satisfying noise okay so yeah riku cannot get shattered now okay so no more tragedy like last time <laughs> no more tragedy um yeah okay let's go we're going to go fight Yojimbo a whole bunch of times. Um, so yeah, I could still max out luck, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if we need to. 
I don't know. Okay, we're gonna warp to the back. There's a little little, little cutscene. Um, I've gotten the treasures on the left and right side, but if you on those left and right sides you can get treasures, but I've already gotten them anyway. We're gonna go back here because there's a little scene that we haven't seen yet. A scene that we haven't seen. Ha ha. Timbo yo Jimbo. You are a fading dream, but one touched by reality. Spirit will not forget its reality, nor the one who saved it. Run, dream, run on. Pass beyond the waking and walk into the daylight. Okay, so he gives you a strength sphere. Um, that is good to know, Koneko. Orin does have that, so we should be okay. Okay, so then we're gonna walk up here. Uh-oh, it's another one of those priest guys. There he is, Dark Himbo Yojimbo. Okay. The battle is easier if all characters have maxed out, maxed out strength, defense, and agility, as well as having luck at 125 or higher. Well, I don't have luck at 125 or higher. Mine's luck can be lower if the player uses aim five times. Okay, we are gonna do ultra null all. So actually, let's start with that. It seems like a good idea. Um. We've got her overdrive available. We need to go down to... Did we do this before? It was... Um, healing Spring plus a Curtain. Yes, Healing Spring plus a Curtain. Yes, we've got Stoneproof and Ribbon. Auto Haste, we've got all of the autos. It's not necessary, Riku's Ultra Null all yet, okay. The only way to survive Zen Motto is to call an Aeon and take the blow. An Aeon using shield will take around 50k damage. It can be reduced to 34k when she are using shield. May allow an Aeon to survive Zen Motto without having to call a second Aeon. Okay. Good to fucking know. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Um Let's let's for this first round. Let's try to quick hit for victory. Yes. Let's try to quick hit for victory. Um, let's do... Player can simply power through the battle using quick hit. Okay. Call an Aeon when Yojimbo's turn comes up. Dark Yojimbo has a relatively low magic defense. If one has trouble hitting him, double cast ultimate deal DC pitch. Yojimbo is not immune. Yeah, you can Zen Motto him five times. You can. But it's a very low chance for him to actually do it. So it's risky. It's risky to do that. All right, we're gonna try. We're gonna try um, quick hit for victory strat. So then we're gonna. Quick hit for victory. We're doing pretty good hitting him, so that's good. Oh, I went into the wrong thing. Oh, but it's about to be his turn. So every time it's his turn, we're gonna have to call an Aeon because it's totally possible he could zone water me. Yes, he has a doggy. He has a puppy. Arf, arf. I don't actually think he's gonna Zanmato this first time. So we're just gonna do that. Yeah, that's what I expect. Yeah. Yojimbo's cool. He really is. Um, it sucks that his, uh, his whole deal, um, his whole dark fight is very annoying. What is Zanmato? Zanmato is his ultimate move. So the way that Yojimbo works when you summon him is you pay him and he does a move based on how much he likes you and, and how much you pay him. It's like this whole little formula that it goes through. 
And then what happens is um, he'll do the move. And Zanmato is an instant kill, and it works on like almost everything in this game except for a couple of the final bosses. So you can just Zanmato him five times with your Yojimbo if you want to. Um, but that's kind of cheatery. So maybe we'll do like one Zanmato for the last fight or something. We're gonna quick hit strategy this time and see what happens. Switch back to Riku. Now, because you fight him five times, he doesn't have as much um, HP like for each fight, but overall, he has a fuck ton. Um, that's a very technical measurement, a fuck ton. Yeah, see, he's already like crouching. Okay. A on time. <clears throat> Uh, so each of the five battles, he doesn't have a lot of HP, but overall, he has, I think, the most, perhaps. Um, That's Yeah, the strategy stays the same during all of his fights, so that is good. That is good. Very lucky that he doesn't change things up between the five fights. Or that would be a problem. <laughs> that would be way hard. Okay. Go back to me. And summoning time. All right, arrow spark that bitch. Hmm. Yes. Okay. One down. Four to go. I have to remember to talk to the save sphere, but don't actually save. Oh, and a dark matter. That's nice. Our saves. And let's do. Put Orin back to me. some overdrives this time. Oh, okay. So I get lots of turns this time. Um, Cheeto. to switch my overdrives over to warrior since I'm trying to not to even I'm trying to have an A on out every time and otherwise I don't know how I'm going to build those back up okay, attack job Karen yes got it Rain. There we go. <clears throat> All right, let's bring bring Lulu in. We can do her over. Ultima does good damage on him. Let's do an Ultima Fury. Eh. 
Dang, only two. I could have just double cast. Thought I would at least get three. Her poor overdrive in the late game is really not that useful. Alright. Come on, Yuna. Let's summon. We're gonna start at the top again. Don't let me forget after this fight to switch my overdrives over to uh, warrior mode instead. That would be very helpful, I think. If I'm, he's never gonna hit them. He's never gonna hit my characters unless I screw up. Will that kill? It will. So except for the Daigoro, all of his other attacks, it's not just Zamato, like all of his attacks are very dangerous. Daigoro is really the only one that's not a big deal. So that's good to know. All right. Yeah, when a summon comes out, he can't target my characters, exactly. Okay, um, come on, Kimari. I guess you can overdrive too, even though like your overdrive also doesn't really do um, you can do... You can do Seed Cannon. He can't hit you. Alright, so we're gonna go back to some quick hits. Almost dead. Alright, second summon. See if we even make it to three summons. He's already weak, and we're on summon number two. Yeah, he can't hit me, so, that, so they're never gonna regain their overdrives. They're all set to comrade. <clears throat> well, bye, Snuggles. to comrade because their overdrive is gaining ever so slightly. Oh uh, no, we are gonna it is gonna be three summons again. Okay. Come on, Yuna. I think next battle we'll do a grand summon of Anima and see if um Anima can take him out. Or at least how far she can get. With doing like the protect um haste dragon combo. Oof. One hit on Cuddles. Didn't even get to high attack him twice. Yeah, I feel like it could. So I want to try that strat and see if he can come down from that strat. There we go. All right. Second time. All right. Oh, I know what else I want to do, too. I need to make sure I turn off it. I only want to do. I want to encounter Yojimbo. Go. Maga sisters and Anima can be used to beat him. Okay. All right. Well, we'll try. We'll try Anima. Um. Okay. So let's go to. River drives. They all set. To... So they are all set to warrior. They're better one. Oh, I... No, they should all be set. To... Okay, so they already were. Okay. We're gonna go back to the save sphere. Save. Time to heal. Alright. Oh, and then. Let's put. Oh, 
Okay, this is the one that you can accidentally skip, I think. This is the third one. So he went... Didn't go there. Okay, he went this way. He must be in like a little alcove or something. That way? Maybe he's all the way over here. Yep. So that's how you can skip it if you run past this little room, I guess. Alright, let's do... I guess we can get some quick hits in first. Yeah, let's get some quick hits in first. Not attack. There we go. Ooh, miss. That's not good. What is the icon at the top of your screen? Oh, that's... I turned off encounters. I don't know if you can get random encounters while you're running through here finding Yojimbo, but just in case you can, I turn them off. It's something you can do on the PC version of this game. Oh, you can't? Okay. Alright. Come on, Yuna. Let's Grand Summon. Let's start out with... No, we're not going to start out with Oblivion. Let's go start out with... I do haste. Okay. If I do... Act. Only going to get one turn. Okay, so we'll protect first. And then... Haste gives him two turns. I don't like that. I don't like that. What if I do Regan? He only gets one. Debating whether I should do cast the Regan or if I should just go ahead and do the Overdrive. Because I don't think the Overdrive is going to kill Yojimbo. I don't think it's going to kill him. but I don't want to miss doing it at all. Mm, we're going to risk it. These are, oh, we've already got Protect on. Okay, good, another Daigoro. Fabulous. Okay, now let's do the Overdrive. I'm going to get to go three times after that. Holy shit. Hopefully this does a lot of good damage. Oof, yes. Yes, yes. Oof, I'm not regging enough. I'm not regging enough. Aw, oh, Anima's dead. Anima's so super dead. Yep. At least I got an, the Oblivion off, so that's okay. Oh. Uh. Okay. <sighs> Alright. Do some quick hits. Then we're gonna summon Lucky. To take the hit. Because this is definitely gonna be his Zan motto. I 
knew at least one of these fights he would do it. I guess this was the one. Yeah, see, it's like, it's an instant kill. That's basically what Zanmato does. Now, I can Zanmato too with my Yojimbo. It's just very expensive. Let's swap her out for Waka. There we go. Okay. Three down. Two to go. Getting a little bit nervous. My heart's kind of racing. <sighs> what if I mess this up? What if I mess this up? Okay. All right. We're gonna go back and heal. Thank you, thank you, Rar, thank you. I feel very nervous. Because any one of these fights is not a big deal, but the fact that if you screw up, you have to start all the way from the beginning of the first one got me a little nerve-wracked, you know what I'm saying? And the fact that you can't save scum this, I think that is so cheatery. They should let you save scum. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Here we go. Try number four. Where he at? Where are you, friend? I just want to beat you up a little bit. There you are. Okay. Let's uh let's do some quick hits. Missing Titus. Come on, Yuna. Is there a story reason behind this fight? Okay, so here's that about that. Um, when you have gotten to the end of the game, you fight all the Aeon's dark versions, and that unlocks the hardest boss in the game, which is called Penance. Now, as far as the story goes, you really don't get a huge amount in this game about what the heck is going on with the Dark Aeons and like why there's these certain random priests and summoners summoning them. Um, but you do get a little bit more in 10-2, which I am considering playing on stream. Um, but yeah, in this game, they really are just like hard bosses for you. There's not like a, a huge story reason. But Ten Two does have a lot more in regards to the Dark Aeons. Um, but as far as I know, they're never like fully, fully explained. You just get like little hints. There's something weird going on. But yeah, this is um. We'll, we'll summon Yojimbo next time and actually try to... But this is my Yojimbo. Jingle's right there. Um, let's actually do... Let's actually do Magus Sisters. Let's see if they can get some good hits on him. Because there's three of them, they might survive a little bit longer. In Japanese, they're referred to as heretics. Some of the names it's implied. They're priests who turned against the church. Yes. Yeah, um... Kind of. It's. Uh, I don't. I don't really know exactly, but yes, that is my understanding. I'm gonna choose that. I think he's gonna. He's gonna say an auto me next. Week. That's gonna take them out. But that's okay. Yeah, because you notice when, as we've been fighting all of these guys, every single time it's time to fight one, there's, like, this kind of, like, person dressed in, 
um, a very like, priest-ish outfit. And you kind of assume that they're this like league of dark summoners or something. They all have the exact same outfit. And it's all very like Visayed looking. He's almost dead. There we go. Okay. <sighs> one more. Okay, one more. Go heal. We'll go heal. And then we'll do the last one. Okay. All right, let's go back and heal. <sighs> so nervous. <laughs> what if I fuck up the last one, you guys? <laughs> It's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna mess it up. I'm gonna pay attention. I'm gonna pay attention. I'm gonna do it. And then we're just gonna move on to Bahamut. Oop, don't save. Don't save. We're just healing. Okay. So oh, let's check my formation. Um, we've got... Okay, Walker, Orin, and Titus. Yes, that's it. Okay, last fight, last fight, last fight. Let's see if we can Zen Mato him. <laughs> Let's see if we can Zen Mato him back. Is he in here? Oh. Yes, he's back towards the entrance. This final room. Okay, here we go. <sighs> okay. <sighs> We're gonna try to Zanmato him back. See if it will work. Oh! He behind me! <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Jump scare. <laughs> okay, thank you, Koneko. Have a good dinner. I hope that the tomato soup is good. Okay, here we go. Um, okay, we're just gonna, we're just gonna start with it. Okay, we're just gonna start with it. We're not even gonna fuck around. We're not even gonna fuck around. Come on, Jingles. All right, Yojimbo versus Yojimbo. Yojimbo versus Yojimbo. Okay, I got so much monies. I got so much monies. Okay, let's give him all the monies. Oh, what do I need my money for anymore? What do I need my money for? What do I need it? I don't need it. Okay, here we go. Right, will you Zen Mato him? Bye. Bye. Gosh, you guys. We have one more Dark Aeon to beat. Only one more. Oh my gosh. We're gonna actually 100% this game. <sighs> Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Bye, bitch. Bye, bitch. Hey, we did it. Let's go. Okay. <sighs> okay, let's go save. So we never have to fucking do that again. Okay. All right. Have a good dinner, Koneko. Okay, let's go save. Let's go save. Save. Uh, no. With new save data, I guess. Okay. All right. Let's board the airship. All right. You're counting. The last of the Dark Aeons that we have to Here fight is Dark Bahamut. Okay. He's all the way back here. Back where we fought Unaleska. So we have to go pretty far. Uh, can we... Will this help us warp? 
Yes, okay. Can we warp even farther? No, we cannot. We have to run from here. Okay, that's fine. Should be another save sphere before I get there. I'm pretty sure. We're gonna keep going. Memories. Memories of this puzzle. We don't have to do it. So the thing, if you don't get like the, um, if you don't get the sun, sun sigil, I think it is, or the sun crest, anyway, the sun something, you get one of the pieces of Titus's thing to get his uh, ultimate weapon down here. And if you didn't grab it, uh, then when you come back, Dark Bahamut is here waiting for you and you have to beat him before you can grab it. So that would suck. Oh yeah, okay, there was another save here. I knew it. Okay. He can't shatter anybody. So, we should be able to beat his booty. Remember, here's where we learned that Orin was actually dead. Wow. Craziness. And there's the boy. There's the boy. Okay. All right. Let's see what, let's see. <laughs> can we, uh, <laughs> can we, um, quick attack for victory on this guy? Let's find out. Let's find out. Um, come on, Orin. Let's, let's go. We're gonna quick hit for victory. Oh, miss. Okay. Uh, good to know. Okay. But we seem to be pretty consistently hitting him, so I'm not sure that we need... Oh, wait, it wasn't your turn yet, friend. It was not your turn yet. What are you doing? Esper someone's whatever, so... Cons yeah, it's really fun. Like, you see them over and over again. Okay, that was not cool, friend. That was not cool. Okay, and it's actually your turn next. So, um... Here's what we're gonna do, because I'm scared of you. Uh, let's see. We're gonna gonna summon. We'll heal after that. Heal after. Okay. So he gets to attack after they have attacked five times, even if it's not his turn, which that's not fair. Okay, that's not fair. Um, I don't like that. I don't think that's very cool of him. Like, Bahamut, I thought we were buddies. Like, you were visiting me so early on in the game. Um... You know, you were one of the first, like, spirit people that I met. And you're gonna do me like this. Not cool. Like, that's not cool. <clears throat> Alright, bye, Plucky. Thanks for your help, friend. and his overdrive is up now too. Fantastic. All right, let's um do quick hit. Quick hit. Come on, Walka. Mega elixirs cuz we bought we uh didn't buy. <laughs> well, we bribed all of those for a reason. Okay. Quick hit again. Yeah, it's after every five times. Every five times you hit him, you fucking impulses. Holy shit, and it killed me this time. Oh no. Oh no, this is not good. Oh, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna have to really keep count of how many times I whack him. Mm-mm-mm. mm <sighs> Yeah, ouchie. Ouchie. Okay. Um, let's put... Orin... No. Yeah, um... Oh, I guess we'll do the null all...
her overdrive even up though? Yeah, she doesn't even have overdrive up. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go get Riku's overdrive up. Before the next attempt. I can't believe it, like, max damage, like, 9999 all my characters. That's ridiculous. Light up. Light him up, up, up. Why? What's going on? Oh. They wanted me to press the arrow, not just stand on the arrow. Whatever. All right. Let's go. We can make encounters faster. <clears throat> I love how they still have like the sad music here. Bye bye. Bye bye. We'll get Riku's overdrive up first so that she can do her do her thing. And then we'll go try again. I was not expecting that. I thought my stats were good enough that I wouldn't have any trouble, like, surviving the impulse, you know, from when we saw it before. Um, but apparently that's not the case. Apparently it can just, just do max. Um, and I don't have, like, the break HP limit. I don't have it, that on anything, on any kind of armor or anything. But I feel like you shouldn't need it. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you do need break HP limit for this battle. I feel like you shouldn't need that. Anyway, while we're doing this, who's excited for Pokemon on Friday? I'm so excited for Pokemon on Friday. Oh my God. Oh my God. Um, I cannot wait. I took off of work. I took off of work for the Pokemon on Friday so that I can come on here and stream it with you guys all freaking day. It's gonna be so much fun. I cannot wait. There's multiplayer in this game, so if you guys wanna play with me, you need to hit me up, let me know, make sure I got you as friends on my Switch. Um, I am so goddamn excited. So excited. Oh, I didn't mean to skip her. Very cute. Um, I, I'm so excited. I'm gonna pick Sprigatito. I've already, I already know, like, it's too fluffy, it's too cute. Oh my gosh. And I just, I just know it has like the softest grass fur. I just know it. I just, and I never go for the grass starters on my first playthrough, but like, I just saw that little kitty cat, little green little kitty cat, the weed cat. And I just was like, oh, that's my baby. That's my baby. So yeah, Sprigatito. Sprigatito is where it's at on Friday, all day. Can't wait gonna be awesome okay maybe one or two more battles she's almost there and then we can go in with our null all i don't want to have to be summoning aeons every five turns like that's a lot of counting and i'm gonna mess it up <laughs> i'm gonna mess that up like that's too hard i cannot count you guys know it's not a skill that i have <laughs> so i just don't think that's gonna work out Okay, there we go. We got her, got her going. Okay, let's go try again, shall we? Okay, Bahama Mama. There we go. Try to impulse me again. Oh, I'm gonna save it the other one. Just closer. Just kidding. Give me I need to trigger that little zoom out. Not to trigger the others. There we go. We're gonna try again. We're gonna try again. I wonder if I really do need to have like that super high luck. 
I have all my other stats maxed out. I feel like I shouldn't have to do that. But... It's just too annoying. It's just too annoying to max out luck. But I will try to do some grinding for more luck in between this stream and the next time we stream Final Fantasy X. I feel like I should be able to do this without that high of a luck, since I have everything else maxed. All right, Bahama Mama. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All right. All right, sir. All right. Um, let's do... Quick hit. Love it. But we want to see no misses. Then you miss. All right. Come on, Riku. Give me that mix. Right, we want healing spring, and we want one of our curtains. Ultra null. Fuck yes. Let's go. I think this is going to impulse. No, not quite yet. This one. Yeah, impulse time. Ugh. Okay. The Ultra Nolol was very helpful. Um, let's do... Get Yuna out here. We'll summon. <clears throat> and I know this bitch is gonna have so much HP, like he's gotta have so much HP. Especially compared to the Yojimbo fights we just did. Yeah. Oh. Alright. The kit and then breathe. Walk her back. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Come back, Titus. I guess you get to go again. Now we're bringing walk her back. And click it. Um, my click pockets. Make a lick. <clears throat> okay, everybody's healed up. Mm. Okay, yes, we can quit kid again. An impulse. Okay. Don't kill me. Don't you kill me. Don't you do it. Why does the second one do the 999? I don't understand. I don't understand. So the first time I can survive it, but the second time I can't? Why? Why? Am I gonna have to like tally mark how many times I attack him? Or something? I don't know. Let's read about this. Let's go read about this. Okay. Dark Bahamut. Strategy. Okay, it says ribbon, auto haste, auto phoenix, auto protect. I got all that. Yep, yep. Have stone proof if you can't do ribbon. Done. If a player doesn't have it, okay. It's an easy, long way. Okay, using counter attack. And use sentinel every turn. If this character does not have enough luck to hit Dark Bahamut, they should be given. Okay. Must be high enough to survive the physical attacks, having protect. Sheer and door. Okay, so there's a long strategy where you can just counterattack. All right, so that's a possibility. Um, I don't seem to have a lot of trouble hitting him. It's impulse to farm overdrives, which are guaranteed to hit him. It's impulse inflicts full break. The player should dispel them for two or three party members. I, I don't, that sounds really, I don't like this paragraph right here. This sounds super risky. Mega Flare can be survived by summoning an Aeon and casting Auto Life on everyone, or, or by casting Auto Life. 
The overdrive's not damaging compared to those of other dark aeons. Okay. He can be killed with Zenmato. Okay, so we can Zenmato him. <laughs> Dark Bahamut counters with impulse. Which can KO unprotected characters and will shatter the character if they are petrified. Okay. It also inflicts slow, full break, and delay. Oh, so the first time he does it to me, it inflicts full break on me. That's why. That's why. So then I get broken, and then, okay. All right. So I wonder if I recast Protect if everything will be okay. Because he full breaks. Slow. Okay, because I have auto haste, he's not giving me the slow. Okay. So I think that's what was happening. He was full breaking me. And that's why. Okay, so we're still I just have to recast protect. Even though I have auto protect. I think he I think his um break ignores auto protect. Okay, so that's what we're going to try. After he impulses, I have to protect everybody again. I won't survive the second impulse from the break. Okay. All right, let's try this again. Quick hit. Mix. Healing spring. Dark. Alright. Holy Ultra Null. Fantastic. Yeah. Then he impulses. All right, now just to check and see if that's what happened, if I go and try to cast Protect, yeah, they have all these breaks on them. Right, how do, but they still have Protect on them too, so casting Protect isn't gonna remove the breaks. Uh, how to remove armor break. I don't want to dispel everything. Um. Okay, here's somebody on GameFAQs asking the same question. When I use dispel on a character inflicted armor break with buffs, so that character will also be removed. My problem is casting another mix. Okay. Um. Dispel doesn't remove buffs like cheer or aim. Okay. So I could try Dispel. You could cast Dispel and see what happens. But it's about to be his turn, so we're not going to do that right now. Right now, we are going to change over to Yuna and summon. <clears throat> and everybody will need to Dispel themselves after this. And we'll need to heal. And hopefully that does what I want it to do. All right, then you can survive, hopefully. Nope, didn't survive that time. I was hoping to do another energy ray. That did not work out. Okay. All right. Now, and dispel on yourself, Waka. Okay, but that did remove his nulls, but I guess I don't need the nulls. Okay, let's bring Titus back. 
And then if we go to... What happened to Waka? Does he still have Protect and Haste? He still has Protect and Haste. He just doesn't... Okay, but it doesn't get rid of the cheer and stuff. Okay, so we're okay. We're okay. Yes. Yes, we're okay. So everybody has to dispel themselves. Get rid of the breaks. This fight's complicated. Okay. All right. All right. Now we can go back to quick hitting. <clears throat> okay, but now it's he's got his. Okay. Come on, Yuna. Because now he's gonna. Uh, Sure, that would kill me. Sure, it would. Okay. Here we go. Meteor strike. Mega flare. I'm just looking, and Mega flare does deal damage to the full party, and it removes beneficial status effects. That's fantastic. Okay. Thank you, Snuggles. That's what I needed from you. I wonder if I should be summoning an Aeon when it's his turn in general, or just when it's time for him to do his overdrive. Oh, that's probably gonna kill Yuna. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay, fantastic. All right, so now we need to... Dispel. Everybody has to dispel themselves. Elixir. Let's bring back out Riku. Um, do we have something that's just going to cure her? Doesn't look like it. Do we have any healing items? Healing Spring, but I want to save them. Definitely want to keep her alive. That's more important, I think. So we are gonna do. We're gonna do a quick. So I have plenty of mega elixirs. Only two more bosses in the game, so might as well use them the fuck up. Okay. Um. Everybody's good. We got their protect and their haste. All right, I wonder, I don't think I should actually be summoning an Aeon every time he has a turn, just for his overdrives, I think. So, yeah. So we're gonna quick hit. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. So I think we're okay there. Let's do some more quick hits. Oh, but Titus is hurt now. I do not want them to die because then they'll lose their like five times cheer and five times aim and everything. We don't want to redo that. Okay. 
impulse time. All right. Um. <clears throat> oh man, I really want to do his overdrive. Oh, but don't do it, Karen. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, let's see. Alright, so I don't want him to attack Riku, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring in somebody that's got their full health and everything. Mari. Um, because he doesn't have the bonuses or anything, and we're gonna do... We're gonna do a quick pockets. Mega elixir. Okay, he's still in. Interesting. Um... He dies, he's gonna auto life, and that's fine because he doesn't have any bonuses. So I might as well just use the turn. I might as well just use the turn. So let's quick hit. Okay. Alright, we're good. Oof. Oof. Okay. Let's overdrive with Waka. Do his attack reels. There we go. Yes. Let's go. Good job, Waka. Love you. Okay, let's switch back to Riku. Do you need you need a dispel? Yes, she does need a dispel. Okay. Dispel yourself, Riku. And then Titus, you can overdrive. Do an energy rain. There we go. Okay, good damage. Um, let's do quick popping elixir. Why not Blitz Ace? Because I'm bad at it, Storm Blessed, and I will miss. <laughs> Welcome in, by the way. <laughs> what a great first time chat. <laughs> uh, yes, because I am bad at video games. Uh, I will not do Blitz Ace most of the time. And I'm way more likely to miss it. And then I don't do very much damage. Uh, okay, so then we will... Let's quick hit. Welcome, by the way. I'm a variety streamer. We stream all kinds of fun things. Uh, on Saturdays and on Sundays, starting at noon Eastern. Uh, I love games with good stories and cozy games. And I love media analysis. We also do a podcast sometimes. So that's kind of what you can find here. All right, quick hit. Yeah. Bitch. Okay. Now it's time for an A. Come on, cuddles. <clears throat> Come have your mega flare for dinner. Nom nom nom. Oh, he's weak. Okay. Okay. We're doing good, you guys. We got him kneeling. Nom nom mega flare. Just eat it. Alright, see you later, cuddles. Don't worry, we'll come back for you another time. <sighs> okay. I've never survived this long. All right, so 
we need to dispel. At least to dispel themselves, because we just had a... Okay. Dispel yourself. <clears throat> Alright, and Riku, come here. Also need to dispel yourself, I'm pretty sure. Yes. And... Oh, not there. It's under special. We're gonna quit pockets. Okay, everybody's all good. Let's go back to quick hitting. Come on, you guys can do it. You guys can do it. I'm very nervous. Did I summon an Aeon? He's not got overdrive up. He's just gonna attack, right? He's just gonna do a regular attack. Ah, oh, what does he do? Think on his turn, if it's not his overdrive, he just regular attacks. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't look like, according to the wiki page, he has anything else. I think I can do one more quick attack. I think I need to summon an Aeon. Mm, -hmm, mm, -hmm, mm, -hmm. mm, -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, yep. Ah, <sighs> uh, but I'm nervous. But I'm nervous. We're gonna summon an Aeon. I don't think I need to, but we're just gonna be safe rather than sorry. We're not going to lose in the second half. Okay. We're not going to be a meme. I knew it. I knew it was just a regular attack. But that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. We know for sure then. All right. Quick hits. Oh, impulse time. Impulse time. Mm. Dispel yourself. It was auto on her, anyway. Mm, and we can do... Let's do... Alright, everybody's healed. Riku back. All right. Oh, she's got to be almost dead. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. You guys can do it. You guys can fucking do it. overdrives up now. All right. Hmm. I don't know what count we're on. Four. Oh, thank you. So this was five. <laughs> thank you, friend. Okay, all right. All right, okay. Right, okay. Let's dispel again. 
Gosh, I'm so close. I just want to attack. I just want to attack and get it over with. Don't fuck up, Karen. Don't fuck up. Koneko, welcome back. How is it going, friend? Okay. Spell. Then Yuna. Right, Bahamut versus Bahamut. They're idiots setting on fireworks outside. I hate fireworks on things. Fireworks is fireworks when they're not allowed. Oh, outside of New Year's and Chinese New Year's. Is there any kind of holiday for you guys right now, Kuniko? Definitely not a fireworks time this time of year around here. Until New Year's, of course. There's not. I guess they just they were just really interested in fireworks. I don't know, friend. Sorry, they's being loud up in your neighborhood. You could counter that. Okay, like you could just open your window and turn on um baby shark full blast. And just like do 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 them right out of there. I think that's a great idea. You should do it. Okay, all right, so we need to heal up, but Titus isn't in the party right now. That's fine. We're just gonna... I'm like 90% sure the type of fireworks are setting off is also the type that's completely illegal to own, noisemakers. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, so I think the baby shark is a good idea. You should. Yeah. Right, here's impulse again. again. I don't have time to dispel and heal up everybody. Mm. Don't like this. Don't like this. That's what we're gonna do. Mega elixir to heal up. Then we're going to bring in Orin, and he is going to... Where is it? He's going to send him and take the hit. All right. Ida still needs a dispel. Everybody's healed up. Everybody's got max HP. Right. Come on, Bahamut. Why are you still alive? <gasps> 
We did it. We did it. We did it. Yay. Ah, let's go. Let's go, y'all. Y'all. That's all the dark aeons. Y'all. What? Ooh, cutscene. place where the sin battle used to happen. There he is. The hardest boss in the game. Mm. Look at him. gonna reward myself with going to the bathroom real quick and grabbing a little sneaky snack. I'll be right back. Give me one give me, give me one second guys. I'll be right back. I'm back. Okay. Got myself some beef jerky little meat here. Y'all, I thought for sure I would screw up Jerky or Jimbo at some point. So I'd have to redo him and I would not get this far this stream. Thought for sure. I don't know anything about penance. But I'm going to eat these beef patty things. They're, they're uh, beef jerky, teriyaki flavor. We're going to go beat Penance. This is the last boss in the game, you guys. I can't believe it. Let's go read about him. Ah, uh, hello, anime girls. Thank you so much for the hug. How are you doing today, friend? Not, I'm trying to Google the fan of Final Fantasy boss, not like the word penance. Thank you so much, Blue. I do need the good luck. Here we go. Mm-hmm. We are Blue. We beat Dark Yojimbo. We just beat Dark Bahamut. So it's penance time now. I don't know why my camera's going so slow. I've got, it looks like my frames per second is dropping. Why? Because I Googled for penance. My computer said, fuck that. All right, let's read about him. <laughs> We're going to try to fight him properly, Blue. We'll see. Penance boasts 12 mil HP, holy shit. Absorbs elemental damage and has powerful attacks, making it yeah, the most dangerous boss. Two arms, left and right arm, okay, which act independently with similarly powerful abilities. 500 AHP each. Um, the arms regenerate a few rounds after defeat, but take twice as long to regenerate if killed via doom. Okay. So if you're going to kill him, you kill him via doom, I guess. That's what you're supposed to do. Um, Penance has two stages, with the second starting after it loses three million. Oh no. We have stages. Okay. <sighs> okay, obliteration. Physical attacks and inflict split slow. Immolation. Single target attack that also drains MP. Okay. Causes armor break and mental break. Penance gains haste upon entering the second form, but this only lasts for one turn. Penance ultimate attack is Judgment Day, which hits the party members for a gajillion damage. Okay. It's not possible to soft reset with being attacked by Judgment Day. That's interesting. Requires both arms active to perform this move. 
Pen like Zanmato, which will not dispel auto life. Zarms will get turns after reviving and are likely to finish the party off before they get a chance to recover. There's a secret counter for Judgment Day, and Penance uses it when the counter reaches 19. The counter increases by one every time the party inflicts damage on it, and by one every time he uses immolation. So, it's imbued with auto protect on its first form. High defenses or new weapons will barely make a dent. Only the celestial weapons, which ignore all defenses, will be useful. Just to let you know, I have those. You're making your way home. Okay. Well, Blue, I don't, I don't, we're going to try to beat Penance. We're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to see if we need to, if we're going to do this now or if we're going to do this on the next Final Fantasy X stream. Have a safe drive home, friend. If you're driving, by the way, stop typing in my chat while you're driving. My God. Hmm. It's possible to prevent the arms from ever getting a turn. Okay. The right arm does petrify. An instant shatter will good we have protection against that. And the left will dispel positive statuses including auto life, okay. Calamity. Poison, silence, darkness, curse, and full break. That's on the right arm, Jesus. You can also use Mighty Guard, which will heal penance for over a hundred K. Yikes. Um the left arm uses sloga. And Terra Gravitron, which does Darkness, Silence, Sleep, and Doom, and deals magical fractional damage that will remove 75% of the maximum HP. Holy crap. And can kill a target. It's twice as powerful as Dark Anima's Mega Gravitron. Disgusting. Any party member can be used, but Riku is recommended because of her mixes. Okay. Defense plus 20%. I don't have that on my armors. Um, a large supply of X potions is required for the auto potion. Okay. Rico's trio of 999. Okay. An alternative. Oh, is HP limit break. I don't have that either. Hmm. Ribbon's not necessary yet, but I got it. Get used here and dispel. Okay. Three stars. Okay. Stamina tonics. Mm -hmm. 40 minutes. Holy crap. Yes, even if you do it well, it takes 40 minutes. Okay. Riku's overdrive to reduce the damage of penance attacks. Two healing springs. Yep. Okay. Ultra null. All we know about that. Yep. 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 Reduce super elixirs, okay. Yep. Playing it decently fast, okay, and I don't necessarily play decently fast. As soon as the battle starts, the party should kill one of the arms, okay. Mm, you want to ensure the arms don't regenerate together, okay? Three stars. Okay. And then an ultra null all. Okay. You should kill the arms right before their turn, okay? An arm is killed in six hits, so the best strategy is to start up by hitting the arm five times with quick hit. After both arms have been hit five times, the party can start attacking the body until the arms are about to get a turn, at which point you should kill the arms. Okay. After taking three million HP damage, Penance's tail will fall off and it will enter its second form. Okay. Then it will use Immolation, which deals a fuck ton of damage. Okay. Um, use Dispel to remove all armor breaks. We learned that from Bahamut. Since immolation only hits one party member at a time, counterattacks won't work. Oh. <laughs> so Titus, Ornwalk, and Kamari can remove... Um... Oh, counterattacks do work. Okay. okay. You can reduce the damage to 4.5k with various 
protections. During penance's second form, the party should continue on with the same strategy as the first, except using purifying salt to remove penance's haste status and dispel to remove armor break from the victims of immolation. It's not necessarily to remove the haste, excuse me, a haste effect he casts during the second phase due to only lasting one turn. Since immolation is a single target attack, Sentinel can interact with it. Okay. Uh, this will not reduce the damage, but it allows the player to select the target for the attack. This can be useful to ensure a counterattack, as well as preventing unit or Lulu from losing their MP, weakening their damage due to Moss Immune's unique damage formula. Arn is the best choice for this, however, any character with counterattack will work. Okay. Yep. I mean, Koneko can link it, but then you guys wouldn't get to like read what it actually says because I'm not reading every single word. <sighs> Blue, it's fine. I like it when Koneko posts the whole paragraphs. I think that's better for everybody. Okay. All right, you guys. I was thinking like, what do we want to do? We want to try. Do we want to try beating Penance? I want to try. I don't know. I really did not think we'd get that far today. Oh, my controller died. <laughs> In that time, I was doing all that reading. Okay. Anyway, here we go. Let's go to the airship. It feels like really eerily quiet in here. About to go to my next anime convention at Alexis Park. What? Oh my god, that sounds like so much fun anime. I want to go to a con. I haven't been to one in so long. Has it have been a minute before I've been to one and then COVID happened? Isn't it? I'm so excited. All right. Still got lots of. Wow, he's like a whole thing on on the thing. What happens if we go to a uh, homelands and just like gaze ah, upon him? What happens? Let's find out. Can I, can I gaze upon this? Whole thing on the. <laughs> No, I cannot gaze upon Penance. He's not there. Bro, uh, don't you know a super boss is like right there? I know we can't see it, but there. He's bought aboard the airship. Oh. I see. Okay. So I guess floor wise he's like flying around Spira right now. Like he was he he was summoned here but he's like flying around. I should go to one. I should, I should. We used to go to Dragon Con. I've been to Dragon Con several times. It's not that far from me. Atlanta's not that far. <sighs> okay. like really nervous about this. I'm like really debating hardcore what I want to do. I want to actually get my luck up the rest of the way. I guess I'm riding a chocobo. Um, before we fight him. Or if I want to do any of those armor recommendations. I just don't know. I don't know. Also thematically it feels like Pennant should be his own screen. Chocobo is from Final Fantasy. Yes, yes, yes. Not 
Let's make some chocobo baby. You're counting on me. Okay. Let's just let's like start the penance fight, and let's just like watch the cutscenes together, and let's just like let's see what happens. Okay. Yeah, we're just we we're just gonna like have a silly little conversation with penance. We're just gonna go talk to him. We're just gonna go talk to him. arms five times. Gonna take that's gonna take some um that's gonna take some practice. I'm gonna have to look at that strategy a few more times and take some notes on kind of like how I think the turn should go before we attack. Oh, it it'll, it'll auto save you right before the battle. That's nice of it. That's nice of it. Right before you're about to die. <laughs> yeah, F's in the chat. Okay. Thank you, Koneko. You can help Blue. Blue, do you, do you want to do that? Do you want to, like, direct me? Like, okay, who should I have in my party at first? We can do an attempt with you directing me if you want. I don't know if it's going to work out. It's like, there is, like, a slight delay with Twitch chat. What formation should I use? Should I have Walker Riku Titus or should I have somebody else? But first. I need to see your stats. Okay, I'll show you my stats. We might we might do this a, a later stream, Blue, but I'll show you my stats. See, I got them all max except for luck. Do you think I need to get my luck higher? Do I need to get my luck like over a hundred? I know like 125 is what was recommended for Bahamut, but we need him without that. See, everybody got maxed out except luck. And all their luck is like 80 something. Oh yeah, I'm I'm showing you right now. Oh wait, you can't see my agility. Um, hang on, let me move my face. Good. There, now you can see it. Yeah, face is all. Yeah, see, it's all max except for luck. That luck should be fine. Okay, that's good to know. See, I've got celestial weapons, and then for my armors, I've got auto phoenix, auto haste, auto protect, and then everyone has either stone or ribbon. Orin and Riku have ribbon, and everybody else has stone. So I okay, so I do need to do that armor, like what the wiki is saying. It gives me two possibilities of different armors I can do. You think I need to like get those armors first? You don't need ribbon. Yeah, that's what the wiki said. The wiki recommended um, plus 20%. 
uh, defense or breaking the HP limit instead of having ribbon and stone fruit. Yeah. So I could do that in between streams. Sounds like I really should. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. Based on Koneko and Blue's help, I believe that I need to work on my armors before we fight Peninets. But we will fight Peninets before the end of the year. Don't you worry. We are still on track to finish this game before Christmas. <laughs> uh, Autopot Phoenix. That's exactly what the wiki said. So I will work on that. I will work on getting that armor. I will work on getting that armor for everybody. We can do that. Okay. Let's close the game. And find somebody to raid. It's possible to never die from penance. Yeah, that's what the wiki said. If you do it all correctly with the way that you destroy the arms and all this shit, like you can do that, which I think is crazy. Um, but it sounds like it's possible, but I definitely need, it sounds like I really need that 20% defense. You're skilled lucky. You can potentially swap out auto Phoenix, but I am not skilled, nor am I lucky. I am, I am neither of those things. I'm neither of those things. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. One of my friends, she's a lot bigger than me, but look, but she's playing Final Fantasy X right now. Um, we're going to go, we're going to go right into another Final Fantasy X stream. We're going to go right into another Final Fantasy X stream. Okay. Let me type it out. This is Lunarius. She's great. Practice your attack reels. Okay, I'm pretty good at the attack reels. I don't miss that too often. Okay. All right. Understood, Blue. Thank you so much. All right. We're going to go right into Lunarius. Um, before we do that, there, here's all the places you can find me. You can find me right here on Twitch. We stream on Saturdays and Sundays. Next stream will actually be on Friday, though. I will see you guys first thing in the morning as soon as I am up and had some coffee on Friday. We're gonna be playing Pokemon Violet. I am so excited to experience this with all of you. Um, I cannot, I cannot wait, okay? I cannot wait. So um, y'all come hang out with me on Friday and uh, and we'll be playing some Pokemon, all right? So that's when I'll see you next. Um, also, all my VODs are on YouTube. You can find them all there. Uh, my Twitter is where we keep up to date uh, until Elon kills it, and then I'll let you guys know. And the Discord is the place that you can come to get all of your good notifications to, because um, we can't always trust YouTube and Twitch to do that. Also, if you'd like to support me, you can do so in all of the usual ways. There we go, all right? You can sub here on Twitch. We've got a merch shop. You can donate here on Twitch, and I have a throne wish list. You can do all of those fun things. All right, thank you guys so much for watching, and of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.